we're back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Hi. Let's see here. Okay. We're uh, just about done with Pokemon Tower. We just got to fight this uh, line of rockets trainers. We're going to kick their butts. All right. They're ghosty butts. What do you want? Why are you here? I'm here to kick some ghost butt. Ghost butt. Ghost butters. Do, do, do ghost butters. <laughs> ghost butters. <laughs> that's right. It's me, ghost butters. I don't think that's what butters. I can't do a butters voice. It's too high pitched for me. I can only get the accent, not the actual pitch. That's, I'm not sure if that's his accent Shh, either. I haven't watched South Park in over a year. You need to watch more South Park. See, when South Park was really a big thing, I was too young. And my parents, my, well, my mom was like, hey, you can't watch this, uh, gross. And so then I never well, got into it. I think even as a, like, adult, she probably thinks it's just gross humor. Yeah. Because it's pretty gross humor, but it's the best kind of gross humor. <laughs> um, my dad was so happy when I was old enough to watch South Park that he watched them all with me when I was old enough. So, because, like, when it came out, he was just totally in love with it. <coughs> oh my god, they killed Kenny. I guess the one I wound up seeing more of as a little kid uh, was uh, my grandpa was really, really into Simpsons. Yeah, I watched that a lot, too, as a kid. So I wound up seeing the odd episode of Simpsons here and there with my grandpa. Do your parents not like the Simpsons? My mom doesn't. Uh-huh. Does she like Family Guy? No. I don't either. Um, do you think she would like Bob's Burgers? You know, who knows? I don't know. I, I, I get the feeling that those, like, cartoon comedies are a little bit too silly for her. For my taste. mom. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think so. And tend to be a little bit on the raunchy side, too. Like, she doesn't mind raunchy humor, but there is a definite line for her. Uh, yeah, it's whether or not it's animated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm joking. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, a lot of jokes have a little bit of truth in them. That's why they're funny. Yeah. Look at this rocky guy. He looks exactly the same. They have pretty cool hats, actually. I like that hat. Yeah, their hats are nice. Um, That's why you should join. No. Join no. for the hat. Don't, join don't for join the anything hat. for a cool hat, guys. Don't, don't join anything for a cool Words of wisdom. Don't join anything just for the cool hats. I, I joined Catholicism because I wanted to be a pope because of the cool hat. Because of the cool hat. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a fish. <laughs> I want to be a fish hat person. <laughs> I want to be a fish hat person. Please don't die. Okay. Once again. Don't convert to anything because of the hat. Just, 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 just because of that. See, that. if it's the hat and another reason, then it's okay. Well, if it's a hat and a reasonable reason, like you actually believe in the thing. What if it's an unreasonable reason? Like what? Uh, you'll get money from it? You'll get a cool hat. You'll get a cool hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't get money or anything. This, you'll just oh, get a cool hat. I felt like I had some weird gunk on my controller, just a sticker. Oh, stupid stickers. Um, uh, who's gonna take a psychic blast? John Tron. John Tron. Ah, uh, that wasn't even a psychic. That was head. Flames. Oh. I guess John Tron got head. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, now he got now he got psychic. Oh, psychic. Psychic. Is that just a euphemism for something else? Uh, Being I... mind fucked. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's, that's what we're gonna use as a slang term for mind fuck is psychic. Getting psychic. So are we are we talking like literal or metaphorical mind fuck? We're talking about a sorry mind fucks. Uh, oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so yes, literally. So literal mind sex. Mind fucking brains. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be burning through potions as much as this, but I do want to get uh, Lily more XP. Yeah, burn through all the potions. You're not saving anyone, kid. Like, literally, like, that guy's standing there and he's got really tough Pokemon. You're not actually saving him. He, he could have left any time he felt like. <laughs> hey, yes, I got a Zubat. <clears throat> I cut it. Oh, no. Whoa, I cut that Zubat to death. Oh, you shouldn't cut things to death. Damn, I Crane Girl's a gangster. <laughs> Look at this. 
She just cut a bitch. Thug life. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. You know, it's very rare that that meme is ever funny. Really? But when it is, it's hilarious. Oh, I, 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 I think that meme's pretty well used. I've just seen, like, a lot of bad versions of that. Oh, I, I've at least seen the one where, like, John Wayne is, like, throwing the kids who can't swim into the, oh, into that, the that river. Oh, that is funny. Why was he doing that? <laughs> to what teach him to swim. That's not how you teach kids to swim. You just throw them in a river. It's, it's a great like, way to teach kids to swim. It's like if you find, like, a kid with wings who can't fly, and you're like, oh, hey. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You know, we didn't just run to those kids with wings. <laughs> well, I mean, like, okay, like, I don't know. Like, if you do, okay, so let's say you find a rock climber. Do you push him off of a cliff thinking he can climb back up? No. There, we, we saved Mr. Fuji. No, you don't. Hey, Mr. Fuji, what do these tombstones say? Are they cool? Is there stuff Mr. on them? Mr. Mountain. Mr. Mr. Fuji. Mr. Mr. Hey, Fuji. You came to save me! Thank you, but I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of the Cubone's mother. Oh yeah, we killed that. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. Did yeah. you kill it? Yep. Let me tell you, boy, you shouldn't go around killing ghosts. I thought it was called exorcisms. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House. Yes, I named my house Pokemon House. That's very redundant, sir. At the foot of this tower. And here we are. Oh, we're at his house now. Yeah. This kid have something new to say? He's got a lot of kids at his house. Yeah, you know. He's, are they his he's Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji's a cool guy. Is it a daycare? Uh, he just takes care of Pokemon and but stuff. Does he keep them as slaves? Pizza! Wait, that's your name? I just wanted to order a pizza. <laughs> Without deep love of Pokemon, your quest will fail. Well, uh, you trust me, I love Pokemon. Oh, yeah. I have played it so often. I'm not oh. sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. It's a poke flute. You can use it. It's different from a regular flute, because it only plays Pokemon music. I mean, there's no reason we could just call this a flute. It is a pokey flute. A pokey flute. Only Pokemon can hear it. Upon hearing the pokey flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. I feel like it's like trying to play a flute to like a vicious animal, and they wake up and claw you. So, um, if I remember correctly, we can actually use the Pokey Flute in battle to cure the sleep condition. Oh, neat. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's like having yes. an awakening all the time. They did something similar in third gen uh, Ruby and Sapphire. You could obtain an item called the Blue Flute that lets you do that. You could actually, you could collect flutes that did uh, every status ailment. If I ever did a third gen game, I'd probably just grind to get the, all the flutes. Yeah, it's gonna be one like musical poker trainer. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. We can catch uh, Snorlax now, but it's gonna be level thirty. So let's make sure we're stocked up on potions and balls because it's gonna be tough. Yeah, we really need some balls for this one. All right. Yep. Lots of balls. Snorlaxes are legitimately tough to catch here. Ugh, 14 balls? Snorlaxes are just tough. They are. Um, now this is, unlike the Dratini, this really isn't cheating at all. The Snorlax is the first wild Pokemon we are encountering in Route 12. So so you admit to cheating in your Nuzlocke? It, with the Dratini? Not really cheating, more of exploiting my own rules. So, still cheating, because exploitation is still cheating. I mean, you can say that, but honestly, <laughs> a lot of these routes, uh, you kind of have to. Like, for instance, the routes that we went to where we caught uh, Doduo, the uh, Doduo was the only new Pokemon there. So, by design, I was forcing myself to get a Doduo. So, it's like performance-enhancing minerals. They're not drugs, they're now, just minerals. Now, hold on really quick. Let me make sure that we didn't catch anything on Route 12 on the other side of this. Just, uh... Just to be legitimate here, we're on Route 12. No, directly next to this Snorlax should be Route 11, where we would have caught something, but not this Snorlax. You know, maps and Pokemon have come a long way. You know, usually I would save before fighting Snorlax so that if I fail, I can try again. But in this case, if we fail, we just don't get it. So... It just... It just it's just... It's just it swims away. It's just habit for me to save. Okay. Want to use the Poke Flute? <sighs> here we go. This is going to be kind of a big fight. So wait, if you accidentally kill, like, 
make this thing faint? Does it faint into the water or does it just roll away? It says it runs to the mountains. It runs to the mountains. I want to see a Snorlax run. <laughs> that would be so funny. All right, there it is. Snorky, Yorky, Yorky how, Lex. How can it run? It has no legs. What do we want to use against this thing? How about Seismic Toss? It'll do 32 damage. So he's tossing the Snorlax? Yeah. All right. That must be one pretty light Snorlax. Wow. Oh, it tried to use Snore. What an idiot. You can't snore if you're not asleep. Yes, you can. Wait, yeah, no. Damn it. Should I, should I risk karate chopping it? If I karate chop it, it might die. Well, the cool thing now is if it rests, um, it'll stay asleep for, well, for two turns. Actually, you can snore when you're not asleep. Well, yeah, watch me do it. There. Yeah, there we go. But I meant as a Pokemon move. A Pokemon okay, move. so okay. usually what I do is if it's asleep, I try throwing a ball at it anyway. Because like even though it's got full health and a shit ton of it, the sleep condition might help out. It, and it's I mean, only going to be asleep for two turns. It's kind of hard to escape things when you're conked out. <laughs> so that's always been my strategy for, fighting, for trying, trying to catch the Snorlax. But it might not be enough. We'll have to see. Okay, so now it's going to wake up. Wait, what? I thought rest sleeping was always two turns. Or did I miscount? Maybe maybe it doesn't... Um, hmm. I wonder if it will keep chucking balls. Well, it didn't work. Now it's awake. Now what's it going to do? Rest again. <laughs> but you yeah, actually do now... <sighs> revenge! I could try revenge. Revenge it. But it's going to be super effective, so I'm, I'm worried. But, oh. I mean... Snorlaxes have such high defense, and it hasn't hurt me yet, so revenge won't do that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Oh. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and try to throw a ball at it because it could just fall back asleep now, and that would make all of that work useless. So, but now I know I can use revenge unless I don't crit. Uh, it won't work. So hopefully, what my plan is now is for it to fall asleep, and then I'll use revenge, and then it'll have yellow HP and be asleep. So, hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, that's going to be a detriment. It farted! No, it yawned. It looked like a fart. <laughs> You're right, it did. <laughs> a very pink fart. Well, it only appeared pink on the TV. It's, oh, it's really white. Darn it. Okay, it's using yawn again. It's kind of dumb. I wonder what life would be like if our farts were visible. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to see if that still works, because it worked in the original game. Uh, Pokeflu, use. Yeah, it looks like it works. It's just, I, I have to wait for the song to finish. That's kind of annoying. There, there, there's your one downside, is you have to wait for the whole song to finish. Oh god, that's a headbutt. Okay, if I get crit with a headbutt, I'm toast. So, we're gonna go ahead and heal, just for safety. I don't... I want to get Snorlax, but not at the cost of losing somebody. <sighs> Yawn again. Oh, no, oh you're right, it far. is pink. Okay. I never noticed before, that's pink. Alright. Let's throw another ball. How many balls do we have left? 14. I think Snorlax was eating too much Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> also, Pepto-Bismol Pepto oh. tastes like shit as an adult. Really? I, I haven't tried it as an adult. Yeah. I had it last time I had. It, I was a kid. So. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had it, and oh my god, it was amazing. And then like I had it again as an adult because I was having stomach problems, and oh my god, it was awful. Can I skip through this song? No. Okay. Da 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 da. Darn it! This Snorlax is getting smart. Oh, that is exactly. See, that is the exact reason I healed earlier. Okay, we need to do as much as we can to heal. Or we need to switch. I'm going to go ahead and use a Hyper. Now, the other Snorlax will be way easier, because we're just going to kill it. Okay, oh. now it's using Rest. So there's now... more than one Snorlaxes? Yeah, there's two, re there's two Revenges, darn it. Two Revenges? <laughs> there's, two, there's two Snorlax. There's the one here, and then there's the one blocking the way to Cycling Road. Aww. Uh, this is the one that we can catch, though, because of that Snorlax, we already caught a Doduo in the same route. Oh, I got a crit. No Snorlax for us. We don't get a Snorlax this run. Nope, no more Snorlax. That's just how it goes. That's too bad. I really wanted one. Snorlax, calm down after you punch the shit out of it. 
He gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. Apparently that's where Snorlax come from. It's the mountains. Oh, they're like a panda. Because pandas live in the mountains until they, like, have to breathe and they come down from the mountains. All right. Like, it's really weird. They actually have, like, a weird migration cycle between, like, the mountains and the lower lands. And it all kind of coincides with their bizarre breathing habits. Okay. So, I'm, a, I'm honestly a little disappointed that we don't get a Snorlax, but at least, at least we didn't lose anybody. Because sometimes that happens and it sucks. That you're trying to catch the Snorlax and it just, like, gets a critical headbutt and mows things down in your party. You're just like, ugh. No Snorlax for us. You know what? At least we'll get a free Lapras later. That's nice. Yeah. Lapras are awesome. I wish I could have gotten one in the new game. Oh, in uh, Sun and Moon? Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you get a run that you can ride. I know, but that's not the same. I can't name it and pet it and feed it noms. Alright, so this Snorlax we're just going to straight up kill. I mean, unless it's a shiny Snorlax, then oh. we can try to catch it. No. It's not. What does this shiny Snorlax look like? I think they're red? What? I don't remember. That's weird. Maybe they're green. I hate how, like, most shinies are green. It's a, and it's, like, a really ugly green. Yeah, you're right. Like, can't you just make them more attractive looking? <laughs> yes, I'm shallow. Deal with it. Oh my god, this shiny Pokemon is so ugly. <laughs> like, I don't even want to catch it. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it in Wonder Trade and get something better. <laughs> oh, I broke my zipper again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay, now we're fine. And it farted again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm going to fall unconscious from this fart. You see, that's, that's exactly, it. He's that's not fall. Exactly. He's not falling asleep. He's just knocked out from the gas. Yes. Also, I lost my eraser. Okay. I can't find my eraser, Isaac. Um. Well. Uh, also, we can't find. Did you find that knife that you lost? No, I did not find the knife that I lost. It's probably sitting around here somewhere. What if you're like sitting on it and you don't even know it? Well, I've gotten up and down a few times, so you think I would have noticed by now? Yeah, I think I think it'd be easy to notice when you have a knife up your butt. All right. So we'll see you guys on the next episode.